Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the remainder if this given polynomial is divided by 2x plus 3. So the easiest possible method to find the remainder is called remainder theorem. And here is the definition for remainder theorem. If a polynomial p of x is divided by the binomial x minus a then the remainder must be equal to p of a so let's get started with our problem let's focus on our dividend part this one over here call this one p of x p stands for polynomial so our p of x is going to be equal to x power 3 plus 4 x square minus 5x plus 7. Our next step is focus on your divisor. Here is our divisor 2x plus 3 and as you can see the leading coefficient of this divisor is other than 1 so whenever it is other than 1 we have to be very careful. So set this divisor equal to 0 so that means 2x plus 3 equal to 0 let's solve for x so subtract 3 from both side so 2x equals to negative 3 divide both side by 2 so x turns out to be negative 3 over 2 so now we know that we got x equal to negative 3 over 2 so whatever this value is wherever you see x variable we are going to replace that value so so this is going to simply become p of negative 3 over 2 equals to so wherever you see x replace it by negative 3 over 2 this is power 3 plus 4 time negative 3 over 2 power 2 2 minus 5 times negative 3 over 2 plus 7. So let's simplify furthermore. So we're going to take care of this exponent. So negative 3 power 3, since the power is odd, so we're going to keep the negative sign. So it's going to become negative 27 divided by 2 power 3 is going to be 8 and here plus 4 times negative 3 over 2 square is going to become 9 over 4 and here that is negative and negative become positive 15 over 2 plus 7. We are not finished yet let's go furthermore negative 27 over 8 and here you can see this 4 and 4 they are gone so we simply ended up with plus 9 plus 15 over 2 plus 7 so here you can see this one I can write this one see this 9 and 7 you can just add them up so that's going to be a negative 27 over 8 9 and 7 is going to become 16 and plus 15 over 2. And here this whole part I wrote it down over here and we're going to simplify it over here. As you can see 16 could be written as 16 over 1 to make it a fraction and we can see that our least common denominator or LCM is going to be 8 so I can write this one negative 27 over 8 if I multiply this one over here to make sure this is going to be 8 and 8 multiply okay so here this is going to be 4 and 4 so we are going to get plus 16 times 8 is 128, 8 times 1 is 8, here 60 divided by 2 times 4 is 8. Now we can see that we have the same denominator, 
just put it once you just write down negative 27 plus 128 plus 60 if you simplify the top part that is going to give you 161 divided by 8 so we are going to go ahead and put down this one over here so p of negative 3 over 2 turns out to be 161 divided by 8 and this 161 divided by 8 is our remainder so thus our remainder turns out to be a 161 divided by 8 and that is our answer and here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own now you can take your time you can pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos Bye.